The work over the past few years in the CFC has really set us up nicely, I think, for the future. I mean, the first thing is we've identified several genes, genes that are keeping optic nerve cells alive, genes that are promoting the regeneration of optic nerve cells, genes that help the transplantation of optic nerve cells. So now one of the future directions is to start making therapies using those various genes, seeing which ones work the best and actually move forward into something that's translatable to the clinic. And now it's really about building on that. So if you will, in the last few years, we've identified several genes that are important for optic nerve cell survival and death. We've identified these genes that are involved in the regeneration of the fiber of the optic nerve cell. And ultimately, we, need, we now have to understand which ones work the best and also what combinations work the best. You can imagine that it's not going to be a single gene that cures glaucoma or brings back vision in glaucoma. I think the lesson from cancer therapy and HIV therapy is that it's it's usually some sort of combination of drugs and drug targets. And so to me, that's the next step for the CFC is to understand what are those most robust genes and gene targets and how we can leverage the best combinations. And then ultimately how we can make a therapy that, you know, the next step after that is moving this to the clinic.